Hey everybody, it's Millie with Crafting in My PJs. I hope you are having a great day because I know I am. I made a trip to Dollar Tree today. So it is a Friday and you are going to see my fabulous finds for a Friday. How you like that? All right, so it is the first week in July. We are past the fourth by a couple of days but it's still the first week. So what's coming out at Dollar Tree? Well, back to school, of course. And actually back to school has been out since at least last week, if not the week before. Now, Dollar Tree stock constantly changes. And there are some things that I would not buy my child from Dollar Tree to use at school only because my kids were hard on their supplies and so I needed to make sure they had durable supplies. But then there are other supplies that are consumable that you use up and those are perfectly great for purchasing for back to school. So it all depends on your child, how he or she treats their supplies or what you might be using those supplies for. Because I still buy a lot of school supplies even though I have no school age children because I use them in my crafting. So, all right, before we get started, I just want to say, if you are a new person to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. Consider subscribing. We would love to have you as a, as a sub. And if you are already a returning person, a returning friend to our channel, to my channel, I want to thank you. Thank you for coming back. I appreciate your support. and. Those that are subscribers, I appreciate your, your, you subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. All right, so now before we go any further after that, consider giving this the video a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. All right, so first thing, first thing are containers. The containers are coming out with the school supplies. And this particular container is one of my favorites because it holds crafting supplies really well. It's a nice size. It just works. So it is, it is 10 and a half inches by seven and a half inches and it is two inches deep. I have nine of these now and I store all kinds of different things in them. They're great for like, uh, if you do any kind of crafting with paper, you can do different papers and different ones, theme them out. Um, stickers, I put my stickers in here. They would be great for markers or crayons. I'm looking up, I have stickers like um, bling stickers in one. I have letters and numbers in another. I have wooden pieces and blocks and uh, beads in another. So I like, I love, I love, I love these boxes and they come in all kind of different colors and I try and I give a variety of colors up on my shelf just so I can eyeball what I need quickly even though I write on the side what's inside. Okay, so containers. And here's another container. Let's see, where can I put this stuff? I'm gonna put it on the floor. Here's another container that I found this time. It's by Jot, so it's in the school supply section, and it's called an activity paint tray. So what I like about it, number one, it's see-through, so that's really good. It is 14 and a half inches by nine and a quarter inches, and it is a half an inch thick. So a piece of paper, regular eight and a half by 11 paper, fits in it nicely. You have a slot for a paintbrush if you like to paint, and then the little divots for paint that could be put in there. So I didn't buy this for my grandkids. I bought this for me because there are a lot of times when I do do things. I am not, I am not an artist. I cannot draw, but I will do some painting on things for stuff. So for crafts. So I could put it in here, I could seal it up, it would sort of protect it, and it would also protect it from it falling on the floor, um, things getting uh, on the paper and messing up what I have, like doodled on there for some reason. So I, I just thought it was a really great art, art piece 
for me. And then who knows, uh, you know, when the grandkids come over and they do some watercoloring, you know, the, the little activity pads here, th this might be a great place because it has a lit lip to it. So sloshing, moving. So I just thought these were great. I have not seen those before. That was new to me. Okay, so another container that I found in the school supply area were these zipper pouches. It has It looks like a Ziploc bag. It has just a zipper pouch on it. And my initial uh, reason for purchasing it was to put puzzles in. I am a traveling speech therapist and I work with young children. So puzzles, that's something I might bring with me for the kids to play with and put together. The pieces are always at the bottom of my bag. They're all over the place. Ziploc bags don't always cut it size-wise. And so I thought this would be great. Now, this pouch itself is 12.7 inches by 9.6 inches. If you have very thin puzzles, they will fit inside. If you have a puzzle that's just a little, like these wooden ones, that's just a little bit thicker, it won't fit through the opening. See the opening because of this clip here? Kind of limits what you can put inside. That doesn't mean you, you couldn't put art activities inside. That doesn't mean you couldn't store different papers in it. I think the quality is kind of thin and flimsy. I think it's going to break quickly because it's, no, it's not coming apart. I think it will, because I have purchased these on Amazon or similar ones, um, and they didn't last very long traveling around in my bag, but I thought they would be great here to store things in, kind of water resistant. So if maybe I wanted to put some paperwork in here, Maybe if I wanted to use it as a hurricane evacuation pouch for my um, important papers, I thought it would be great for that. Um, I did purchase on Timu these, these zipper, plastic zipper compartments. Here's one without a puzzle in it. And they have been working great. They are a little thicker than this. They are actually sewn instead of like whatever that is. Um, I don't know if they're gonna last very long either, but I, they're working great for my puzzles. So my little bit thicker puzzles fit in it with the puzzle pieces and um, I've enjoyed it. In fact, I went back on Timu and I ordered bigger ones because I had some bigger puzzles. And I also have some other activities that I stick inside of these so that my activities are kept together and I can get to them quickly and easily when I get to a student's house, a client's house. So anyway, and it also kind of keeps them clean in there to a, or keeps them away from the other toys if I need to go home and clean them. Because I do have uh, bacterial, uh, Bactrim, I think it's called, some sort of spray, like a Lysol spray. And I spray things down and to try and, you know. Mm. All right, so containers. So not only do they have school supply containers out, but they also have your lunch containers out. So they have some really interesting ones. And again, I don't have school age children and I am not an advocate for purchasing things that I'm gonna end up sticking in my cabinet and not using. But I do travel to work, you know, around the city. So I have to eat lunch in my car a lot of times. So some of these containers, um, I purchased them if I thought that they were something that I could use w in lunch. So they had this, um, double container here. It's called the Lunch Storage Tower and it's by Sure Fresh. And so it has a cute little container to put like salad dressing in. And then the other side's kind of more of a dry side. Uh, there's not a 
a container for the, uh, a, a little seal for that one, even though this really isn't a seal, but it is a seal like in itself for the salad dressing. So it shows that you can put like um, nuts and then like, I don't know, raw vegetables. So I thought that would be really good for snacks for me in the, in the car. I like carrot sticks. I like things like that. Pretzels, things I can chew while I'm driving. So I thought that was really neat. Um, the other thing they had, and I was really excited about this, was a yogurt cup. So um, kind of reminds me of that uh, McDonald's. Okay, so it has a little spoon, which is great because I always forget those things. The top unscrews so you could put granola in there if you wanted or even your fruit if you wanted to keep your fruit separate. It is a 16 ounce, so it's two cups container. And I thought that was really cute. So if you wanna prep your yogurt, that would be a great thing to do. Then these I have been looking for and I found one, just one. I guess they're gone, I guess they're moving out. And that's these glass, glass cups with a lid. And I wanted uh, four of them because I do like refrigerator oats in the morning. So even though I wasn't gonna travel with it, I could set up, I don't know why I set up four days at a time. I'm not sure. But I usually set up four days at a time. Quick oats, almond milk, um, cinnamon, a packet of Splenda, and, and then I think that's it, sometimes flaxseed, and then I cut up a banana and I add that later. I don't put that in and because refrigerator oats, but I heat them up before I eat them or I at least take the chill out. So I don't heat them up with the banana in there because if you're Weight Watchers and you do that, that adds points, heating up that banana. So I don't heat up the banana. All right, so I wanted more of these. I didn't find them, but I at least have one. So that'd be great. I can set up the night before. All right, so that was the lunch ones. They did have a soup container. I couldn't even stomach the idea of a hot soup on the go right now. Um, and then, you know, I'm in the car. Where would I heat that up? And then other, like, little containers that were great for small things. But, again, not something I needed. All right, so now I'm going to bring you down to the table, and I'm going to show you one or two other things and ideas of what to do with them that hopefully you like. I'm trying to move things out of the way. All right. All right, so down to the table. All right, so let's see if I can get rid of some of the lights. Nope, it, once you, you get this, this, this uh, shiny stuff, I, I'm, it's the lights up ahead, like my ceiling lights. All right, so what is out, and I've talked about this before, because this is, these are one of my favorite things in the world. It is the pegboards. They don't have a heck of a lot of them, but they do have them out. I've seen them in these nine, I should know this by now, nine, nine inch square. I've seen them in the, I think it's four or five inch square. I've seen them in the rectangle. I've not purchased the rectangle. Oh, I did, because I have some on my wall. I take that back. For every one that I purchase, I do get the sticky back stuff to go on my wall. For the most part, they stick to my wall. Um, I am getting ready, because I changed my craft room around, so I'm getting ready to put a bunch of these on the wall that will be on, my, on the side. And I'm gonna do a couple of things to the wall to see if it sticks longer or better. But I've had some spots where nothing has moved, and I have other spots where things have come down, and I've had to um, use command strips to hold them up. So these are out. Now, I like to put them on my wall, but I also like to make organizers with so them. Here is the nine inch organizer, and I have a video out about that. Um, some of the pegs are the, the ones that come or that you purchase, but all of these silver ones are from Harbor Freight, and you get a gazillion of them for like 10 bucks and it's great. Then I took, let me get my sand out the way. Then I took the small one, which I can't remember if it's four or five, it looks like five inches. And I did the same concept with this one. 
and use the little circular brackets that come that you purchase at Dollar Tree and I put the black um, pencil holders in them and I made a marker organizer because that was an issue. I had too many <laughs> markers. So I have another set of these small ones. Here I can tell you one, two, three, four, five, five inches. I have another set you need for that organizer I made. I use six, so three packs of these to make another turntable for my daughter. And with the school supplies that are out right now, I was able, they had a bunch of different colored pencil holders. And so we decided that she would like um, this green color. And I think that'll go great with the, the white pegboard. And the turntable on the bottom, the Lazy Susan, I get on Amazon. So um, I will link the videos that I did making these. All I used to make them was tie wraps. White tie wraps for this one, black for the other one. Um, love it. it. They are sturdy. They were easy to put together. And, you know, not too expensive. I love, I love my organizers. All right, so there's the pegboards. All right, so the next thing I saw, which was great, um, were another set of these um, Jot disc notebooks. I mean, you've seen these planners out before in stores. I know I see them in Michaels and everything. and. They had a smaller version of these that I found at this Dollar Tree, I don't know, a few months ago. And I was so very excited and I brought it home to make them. And once you put everything together, they really didn't slide on these discs well. Well, I figured out pretty quickly that if you take a hole puncher and you punch, let me get you down so you can see, you punch here just a little bit and here just a little bit and in all of your pieces then it will slide beautifully it's a beautiful beautiful thing so I'll link that video too if you'd like to see that so they had the cover they had several different patterns they had notes and ideas they, they had um, monthly goals birthdays. I thought this was kind of cute. Now I have not seen, I did not see the calendar this size, but I'll keep looking. Of course, several colors of the rings and then they had post-it notes and like tabs and they had the stickers. So both of those really cool. And then look how cute this is and it matches almost part it's not part of the the series but it's just you know decorated paper clips and I thought what a great thing to add to this and so I'll be putting this together I don't know sometime soon and um, I like that it's not dated in any way so I can use it for a long time all right so planners the planners are out you don't see these a lot or at least you don't down here so if the planner is something you like grab it. All right, so my last thing in the school supply section, grab, if you have young children or grandchildren, grab yourself a binder. They have hard binders. They have soft vinyl binders. They have binders all over the place. And grab yourself some of these sheet protectors. Can guarantee I'm going to need more. The Dollar Tree sheet protectors work well. They hold up well, or they have for me. They are thin, though. They are thin and flimsy. But since I'm putting things in them, I'm not worried about that. So what are you going to do with this? When your children, you set this up now, 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 now. When your children come home from school and they have their certificates and they have pictures and they have paraphernalia, things, artwork they've made, you slip it inside one of these sheet protectors and turn the page. 
If you want, if you're, if you're really good, jot on the back the date or whatever. But if you do that, starting at the beginning of the year, you will have all of those certificates in chronological order, ready to either just be put on a shelf, just like this, or you can transfer them over. And this is what I did. Let's see, oh, you, you, are, you are far back. All right, I might have to pull back the, uh, Oh, I might have to pull the camera back. Right, Hold let's on. Let's see if this, all right, let's see if this works. All right, so I bought a 12 by 12, well, it's bigger than that, but it it's fits 12 by 12 sheet protector binder. This was from Hobby Lobby, back when you had coupons, because I've had this a while, but I've been working on it for a while. And I don't really, I'm not trying to make a point about anything, but all of your certificates. So then I went and I just got myself some cheapo scrapbook paper. It didn't matter. You don't want anything too thick. You don't want anything too fancy. I did not, nothing matches. So you're not gonna see um, the same page here and here. Nope, nope, nope. And I just took those, those certificates and glued them, taped them with double stick tape to a page, stuck it in a 12 by 12 sheet protector and put it in this binder. And then I did come back with some photos later on. Don't look at that, you don't need to do anything fancy. This is easy peasy. So here's dancing, you know, pre-K didn't have that much. Um, look, happy birthday, there's her artwork. This was one of her first teeth that came out. Um, Christmas, yeah, that's it. And nothing matches. There's no real, I did come along with some, some stickers. But I can guarantee you, you start getting, look back here, no stickers. And so this Christmas, my kids in their 30s are going to finally get their book their binders from pre-K to 12th grade. Uh, I just finished putting everything on um, the papers and, and I don't want you to think you have to get fancy. You don't have to get fancy at all. There's no fancy, no fancy involved. Um, but I finally got everything on papers, on paper and in a binder and for the girls, for the most part, they needed two binders of these 12 by 12 binders. And for my son, he needed just one, but it's busting at the seams. So I don't know, we might split it into two. Um, great way to keep family memories. And it was a great place for me to put some of these very odd pictures. I used to do scrapbooking I do not really do scrapbooking anymore. So anything fancy you saw in here, that was back from scrapbooking days. I don't do that anymore. And so everything's plain, but the kids, I did show them this. Hold on, I'm gonna talk to you face okay, to face. Okay, about five years ago, I think, before um, I worked on the high school part of these books, I did show the kids. And they got a kick out of it. They got a kick out of seeing their papers and things that they came home with that they had forgotten completely about. They enjoyed seeing the scattering of photos that I did put in there. So it was a fun thing for them to look at. I'm more excited because I have now gotten everything on paper in the right books, you know, because I have three kids. So in the correct book, in chronological order and by Christmas this will be finished because the only thing I have left to do now is a few um, like odds and ends and maybe some photos if I find some photos to just throw in there to add more flavor. Christmas they're getting them. I'm getting boxes like a like a Rubbermaid kind size box that will hold this and I'm handing them their box because there's a few things like brownie, Girl Scout vests, and things that wouldn't fit in the book itself. 
and I, I'm handing this off and it goes to them and what they do with it, they do with it. But if you realize the amount of stuff that gets out of my craft room from working on these books, these books were quite intense. All right, so start early. Start at the beginning of the school year. I mean, we're grandparents, my husband and I now, so now we are doing grandparent. That's why I bought a binder and the sheet protectors because now I am getting grandparent papers not like a parent gets papers, but I'm getting grandparent papers. So we want to put those in to keep those. All right, so one more thing, you know, back to school, fall, they're starting to come out with the fall stuff. Yep. Now this particular item might have been left over from last year. They didn't get sold and maybe they recycled it. I don't know, but I did see fall flowers. I did see fall gnomes in the plant section, the garden section, I did see hints of fall coming out. So I did pick this up. I thought this fall tic-tac-toe would be a fun activity for my friend Stephanie to do. She loves to paint. So this is quite not a lot of artistic talent required. And she'll end up with a really cute fall tic-tac-toe set for her family. So won't that be great? All right. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you for joining me for my fabulous finds on a Friday. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And don't forget the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video if you know anybody that might like to see this. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye.